Hi everyone, bonjour, bonsoir, welcome back for another video. In this video we will be interlocking these locks that were started with instant locks almost a year ago. So first of course we start with the wash and I'm using my deep cleansing moringa shampoo. It is available in the Etsy shop. The link is in the description if you would like to try it out. It lathers really great, it cleans really well, it cleans just like the name says, Deep Cleansing Moringa Shampoo. It cleanses your hair without drying it out, which is what I love about it. So here is the hair after washing, and we're going to go ahead and interlock, and I'm going to just talk you guys through a little bit about how I interlock and how I approach it. Um, it's nothing too hard. Um, interlocking, I think a lot of people shy away from it because they're scared of it, they think it's going to mess up their hair. The only thing I like to tell my clients about interlocking is if you are going to try it out, make sure your hair can handle interlocking. If you have very low density hair, I don't I don't recommend interlocking. Her density is great. It's right in the middle ground. She can interlock. Um, and the other thing is interlocking improperly. So that is, I guess, where main the main fears are coming from. So it's best to know that your stylist can actually interlock and they understand what interlocking is doing to the hair. And I think the other scary thing is that interlocking cannot be undone for the most part. It cannot be undone for the most part, especially by you, the person who got your hair interlocked, because you can't really see what's going on. Um, it can't be reversed for the most part. Um, I think that's the scariest part. But if you're committed to locking and you are you have a certain lifestyle that requires your roots to be maintained for longer, interlocking is a great option. And if you have the density to handle it, interlocking is a great option. As I told you guys with an example of my hair, my density is so low, I shouldn't interlock, especially if I'm trying to keep my locks as thick as possible. However, when I do interlock for my clients, regardless of the density or how thick their hair is, I keep in mind not to interlock too tight. So I'm going to show you guys ba basically how I interlock. Um, so I do the four point, I do the east, north, west, south interlocking, and I, I gauge where I'm going to start off based on the new growth, the length of the new growth. So it's really, if you are a stylist and you are wanting to learn to interlock or you want to it's best to attend a class to really understand how to interlock and I'm going to be giving classes in 2022 so stay tuned if you you want to learn from me but there are other people who are teaching classes right now already it's best to do that and get you a mannequin and practice really well on that mannequin to make sure that you understand what interlocking is doing and how best to do it on someone's hair not to leave any knots any I've seen really bad interlocking where people have knots left in their hair and it's just like wow this person really had to be um doing a bit much but I make I keep in mind not to interlock too tight so neatness and tightness are not synonymous with each other the hair doesn't I'm showing you guys a range of motion of her lock because the hair doesn't need to be super tight for it to be neat all the hairs just need to be gathered. So this is why before I interlock, I go through and I get all the little stray hairs and I kind of guide them into the hair. It's kind of like when I'm beginning a retwist, but not really because I don't I don't retwist the entire root. But I kind of manicure that lock before I do the interlock so I make sure all those stray hairs are going to be incorporated in the interlock. And I'm just going row by row and doing this because like I told you guys, I like to organize myself a little bit so it makes it um, a smoother appointment. So once I've done that, I go through and I interlock and I'm going to show you guys a trick that I do to get the edges very neat. Um, and I'm going to show it on my final pass. So this is my final pass. While I have that loop there, I'm going to use that loop and press it and that's going to help me pull all the hair. And this works for most clients depending on, you know, what their hair is doing, what their edges are looking like how short how long their edges are but for most clients this definitely works it gives me the neatest uh, perimeter possible so yeah that's it this was a really quick interlocking video this is one of my clients um, we did interlocking on her over not over almost a year ago and her hair has been flourishing very nicely um, I'm gonna try to include a, a picture of her initial an initial instant lock appointment and compared to her hair now. 
it looks really amazing. Her hair is doing really well. She's loving her hair. I always like to ask my clients, you know, how, how are they liking having locks? Just to see where they are with it and gauge where they are and what issues they have. Maybe retwisting is not doing it for them. Maybe interlocking will do it. Maybe they need a style to keep that retwist in longer. You know, so we have those conversations in the chair to figure out where you are in your lock journey and how best to assist you and what would be best to keep your lock journey a smooth one. So that's it. And here's the progress. As I told you guys, nothing is tight, just well-maintained roots. And she'll be back again within six to eight weeks, depending on her new growth and what we need to do. That's it for this video. Thank you guys. Make sure to check out the description box for answers to all your questions. Many of them, I think. Um, how to book me. Where's my Etsy shop? Where's my Facebook? Where's my Instagram? Things like that. Um, it'll be in the description box. See you next video. Bye guys.